The Berger Picard is an intelligent, driven, tenacious breed capable of most tasks required of any farmhand. They are able to gather the sheep from the fields where they're feeding, move the stock from one field to another, or transport the stock down highways, roads, across bridges, and control targeted grazing. So what are they looking for in an instinct test? They're looking for a dog that goes in and sees there's livestock in front of them. They want the dog to be interested. They want the dog to notice that, hey, when I move forward, the sheep move forward. Isn't this cool? The judge will see if the dog can move the sheep counterclockwise and clockwise. And does the dog think independently? Some dogs get it immediately, and others take a little encouragement. It all depends on upbringing and how the dog perceives the world around them at this moment. You might ask, what's the difference between the instinct test and the HT, herding test, and the PT, which is the pretrial test? Well, in the name, it kind of tells you a little bit. The HT is the next step up from instinct, and it's just showing that, hey, we've done a little training with the dog. It knows how to be around sheep and fetch them to the handler. That is, the handler's walking along, and the dog is pushing the sheep toward the handler and helping keep them together. You have to show that you can go both ways, that is counterclockwise and clockwise, and you have to do a certain amount of turns, and then you're done. Do that twice with two different judges and you have a new certificate. And the HT distinction behind their name. HT does require some training, however. So PT is pre-trial, and that takes it just another step forward. You're sending the dog to pick up the sheep and bring them to the handler. And then you do a little fetching around uh, through some obstacles and then you're done. Again, it requires two under different judges uh, of qualifying scores. And then you have a PT at the end of the name. Modern herding tests and trials attempt 
to mimic the skills required to, for the dog to do their daily work. One of the first tasks you'll see is called a gather. The handler sends the dog in one direction to go around the sheep and bring them back to the handler. The goal is for this to be a calm maneuver. Bring the sheep back as straight and calmly as possible. And points are given or taken away based on the direction the sheep take and the ability of the dog and the handler to deal with any situations that may come up. Next, you need to prove you can move the sheep wherever you want them to go. We do this in trials by driving or fetching sheep through obstacles or panels. Some of the obstacles are more difficult than others because the sheep may not see the way out. Therefore, they think, hey, it's a trap. Again, the goal is to get the sheep to do what you want them to do calmly and efficiently. Finally, on the A course, what you'll see is the handler and the dog are trying to control the sheep and prove that they have that control and not allow the sheep to race back to the barn or back to the return area, which is what we call a draw. It's where the sheep want to go. They're trying to escape and return to the safety in numbers. One of the traditional tasks of Berger Picards in the past has been field maintenance. An owner, a landowner, used to hire the shepherd to bring their, their sheep and trim down the lawn <laughs> in a certain area uh, or trim the fields by allowing the sheep to graze. The trick is, we want you to graze this field, but don't touch the field over here that belongs to the neighbor or don't eat this crop over here to the left. The sheep aren't that discriminating so you have to have uh, the dog maintain the boundary between where is the good stuff you're supposed to eat and where is the stuff that's out of bounds. So in the in the past and some do now, uh, the sheep are kept in their zone by an imaginary fence that the dog patrols showing them, hey, stay out of this zone or stay in your zone and, and out of this other. That technique is unique to certain types of dogs 
that are generally upright dogs and uh, called tending breeds. And it's really cool to see the old techniques being used still today with Berger Picards. Additionally, you now see Berger Picards herding ducks, geese, goats, and cattle. They are quite versatile and keen to do the work.